Hundreds of government workers descended on the U.S. Capitol today to denounce the looming effects of sequestration. Now, this came with a plea for political leaders to do something to avoid mandatory spending cuts. Stephen Cheetah joins us now with the story. Stephen? We had a real sense of urgency filled this rally in the shadow of the U.S. Capitol. These federal workers know that sequestration is slated to take effect at the end of this month, and if the budget acts falls, they likely will feel it. They came from across the metro area and around the country. Government employees united to denounce mandatory federal spending cuts, the sequestration. What's the fear? Job loss, loss of pay. Some of these workers are afraid sequestration will cut into their livelihood. They're going to start taking money out of our pockets. If it kicks in March 1st, we're talking about $110 billion slashed annually from federal spending. The federal government needs to look out for federal government employees. They dodged the budget knife in January. A temporary agreement right after the new year delayed the spending cuts. Jobs, not cuts. Jobs, not cuts. Union leaders organized the rally. These workers want Congress and the president to come up with a long-term deal which protects federal workers and programs. Sequestration to me would mean just downgrades, furloughs. It, it could mean a whole lot of things. The fate of sequestration is unknown. The economic impact less in doubt. Some predict sequestration will put a drag on the economy, slow the recovery, and pull Wall Street down. It's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. But is it a sure thing? Some political observers believe time is running out, and this time around, sequestration will go into effect. However, there are others, including the federal workers, who are optimistic some kind of deal will be reached before sequestration goes into action. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. Stephen